Welcome to Everyday VBA, your online solution for becoming an Excel VBA expert. Hi, this is Chris Terrell. Today we're going to be looking at how to take a flat file and add that to a worksheet. And basically what that looks like, and this is a popular example, you've got a set of data that comes out pretty flat, meaning that um, you know, you've got your ship to, your quantities, and we're going to populate that onto a basic invoice. It's probably going to take a couple videos, but we just want to get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our uh, code window. And the code window, you can get there by going to View Macros, and you can View Macros or Record Macros, or you can also hit Alt F11. That's typically what I do. So I've already got my code window open. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start open a module, and that's going to open up my uh, code window. I'm just type in sub. We're going to call this fill invoice. Okay, now there's a couple things that we need to do on this. I'm going to slide back over to our workbook just so that we can kind of keep these in mind. We're going to need to loop through our, our little um, set of flat data right there. So first thing we're going to need to do is figure out where that's at. So that's on, uh, it's on sheet one. So if you'll notice right here, it's on sheet one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use the code name, which is sheet one. There's a couple ways to do this, but I like I like using the code name because if, if I change the name on the front end of the worksheet, um, it won't change it on the back end of the code, and you can run into issues on that. So, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to do a loop. We're going to do a do loop. This is probably the easiest way to do this. So we're going to go do while, and we're going to go sheet one dot. And when I hit dot and it pulls up, that's called IntelliSense. When that IntelliSense pulls up, I know that I'm I'm connected to a object, um, and that's generally a good thing. So we're going to go dot cells. We're going to go RW, which is a variable that I'm going to pass it, and then I'm going to go RW column one. And what that does is cells um, is basically the cells within the workbook. I'm going to give my um, my variable RW. I'm going to set it equal to two, and that's going to be my variable that gives me my row. Now, I'm anytime you do a do, you've got to end it with a loop. Then, anytime you do it, you're basically doing an iteration with your loop. Um, and what we need to do here is, I, I just forgot this. Is we need to do, we need to do this while cells RW one is not equal to single quotes, which is basically blank. And I'll and I'll kind of run you through what happens there. Uh, shortly. So we're going to go equals RW equals RW plus one. So I'm just going to show you real quick what this loop does. So we're going to go sheet one dot cells RW comma one dot select and I'm going to walk you through. So I'm going to hit F8 and it's going to actually come here and when it hits here it's going to go to cell RW2 which is row 2 which is going to be right there and then it's going to select that. So if I hit F8, it's going to select, select, select. I'm going to hit F5, which is going to run through the rest, and it goes through all of them. And that's a simple do loop. Um, it's incredibly effective. Now, if we came in here and we had a blank in here, it'll actually stop on cell um, A4 um, because it finds a blank here and it stops the code. So um, that is one of the things to consider. The other thing that I want to show you real quick is if you if we were over here and we try to run this code, it's going to give me an error here because I'm on the basic invoice, which is this, this sheet right over here. See, it yelled at me right there. So I'm on this sheet right here, and it can't go to that. It can't select that because I'm not on that sheet. So I would have to actually go back to my data sheet and in order for that to run. Um, so I want to just go over that real quick. So we've got our loop that's basically the first step of this um, the next step we're gonna basically go in and add some if statements and go ahead and populate this information this information populate this area and also create some workbooks so hope you enjoyed hope you like this series